And things are heating up in the election that's less than a week away. This morning, strong reaction from Republican U.S. Senate candidate Roy Blunt when asked about a controversial issue in his campaign. Chris Fernandez, our political reporter, was there when things started to get heated. Good morning, Chris. Well, good morning, Curtis. We are at Republican headquarters in Lee Summit. Republican candidate Roy Blunt was here for a campaign event, and it was a rather typical event, but there was a rather testy exchange with reporters afterwards, and then he bolted from this event. Now, it started pretty normally. He was just talking with supporters as he was launching his 50-stop bus tour. Pretty typical event, sort of a get-out-the-vote rally. And after speaking, he just went around shaking hands. So after a while, uh, there are only two TV reporters here, myself and Michael Mahoney from Channel 9. So after a while, we went up to him to ask some questions. He was already on the defensive and said he would only answer one question. So that question turned out to be about Blunt's help for an immigrant 20 years ago. The question was simple. Did Blunt know the woman or not? statement out on that at the time, and it's exactly accurate. You read it, and you know what it says. It says that you did work, uh, you did work for your family, sir. Now, Blunt... Blunt then stormed out of the room without shaking any more hands and got back on his bus, which had been pulled around back to the back part of the parking lot. Now, the Democratic Party put out this story last week saying that Blunt had pulled strings to help this woman. She told the Kansas City Star that she had worked for his family. Blunt said he was only doing constituent services for a woman who had gone to their church or had done some help at their church. So again, Blunt continuing to refuse to answer questions about this, a controversy that might not go away before next week. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.